Welcome back everybody, Twitch367 here, and today we're going to continue with episode 112 of, of our Dungeon Dragon Space Shuttle Season 2 series here on the channel. Once again, if you guys want to interact with me or any of the other members of the Discord, take a peek at the Discord link in the description. While you're down in the description, take a peek at all the other social media links, including the 10% off W link. Helps me out, helps out the company, and it's a great thing to do. Uh, that being said, I kind of let these things just run a little bit off camera. Uh, I got this thing doing up some of the iron and the nickel from the uh, iron that we got tossed in here towards the end of that last episode. I also took the sugar and bone meal out of there. Probably put those in the right chest. Um, I still want to rearrange these machines as well at one point, or at some point. I think this one's going to stay though, just because I don't want to have to worry about the drawer. Uh, but yeah, anyway, we started or we started last episode with making up a bunch of machines, including a pulverizer, a couple redstone furnish, a couple induction smelters, and now we're making uh three magma crucibles. Um and this is all so that we can automate our silicone, um super glue the silicone and then this is going to be our liquid crystalline which is literally just magma crystal but i don't think we have 10 gears much tin Swap the tin out. The iron can be dead last for now. Even the nickel can be put towards the end here. All we needed was 16 for uh, four tin gears. A couple more motors. Who would have thought I would have ran out of gold there? Okay, I should already have some gold smelted up down here too, a couple pieces. That uh, should be it for two more gold gears, but let's go ahead and head back down anyway, just because we're going to need it. Uh, the storage system anyway. Toss all of those in.
I have more copper in here. Not enough. Not enough because we're also going to need more for that. Up to three of those. All right, looks like I need to make two more. those away that and that I think all I'm held up on is copper at the moment Imagine being held up by copper. All things. Copper. I mean, I guess we do go through a lot of copper in this pack. Now that's not copper, but we also go through a lot of iron. What else do we got? Alright, just found some copper. Also grabbing all the prosperity shards I see too. I know I have torches, why not use them? I feel like I'm a little too low for copper again. We'll gladly take the tin.
definitely too low for copper. Silver, lead, I'll take all of that. Let's uh, place down our box here. Put all of our loot in it so far. I want all the tin we can find right now too just because we are like out out yeah, having this jetpack is a breeze And there's just so much copper everywhere. Said I was just at the wrong level for it. Thing you, the things you do for copper. Figured there would be some. that there place one there
bunch of skeletons over there, so let's avoid that way. And grab this little bit and head on out. We'll look in the immediate area first. I did see some there, but I'm not worried about it. I think this was a perfect haul. So, let us just slash home. Cost food in there on accident. We have seventy or that up again might as well just get the ball rolling now I really want to get this one upgraded this one upgraded and that one and then like the magma crucible eventually like not really super worried about it at the moment I got one of the three motors done. Need four, seven. Seven of these coils. I need two, four. Five, six, seven. This should be enough for like two more. So technically I could make a motor. Just need four more. Uh, 
That'll give me one. Also debating on removing this whole setup now. Just because we don't use it, especially having that one, because uh, then we're not using our actual fuel. Uh, decisions, decisions. So used to just being able to click on motor. We just need a couple more pieces of copper. I know I just need to get this like in an automation loop. Probably just do that. How? Oh. then like that one wouldn't be used sawmill could get moved down here redstone furnace there I just need the frame trap door. But now I can just start tossing all of my ores in there and it'll just run through. I was supposed to make those uh, three magma crystals while I was up there. I didn't make the right amount of tin gears. And there we go, that is all three magma crucibles that we needed. And now we can officially get everything set up. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just remove these and place them along the back of the smelter. So this one needed the pulverizer, one of those, one of those, one of those. Excellent. 
clean out our inventory as well. Oh, it looks like I already did that one. I just need the katana. I'm not used. To, I'm not worried about that. Um, so I do want to get this first one set up. Uh, this one's gonna be super glue. So I think this one's gonna be set up here because I think it's gonna be a longer chain. Um, so for super glue. We go to the way beginning. Um, we're gonna need a pulverizer to make sandy glass, because I can put sand and glass together. Pulverizer to make sandy glass. Um, I kind of want to get the spruce drawers. Freeing up space. Excellent. I've got two chainmail chest plates with the same durability. So I think input's going to be here, and that's going to have the sandy glass in it. So the sandy glass is going to be sent. glue magma crucible going to be sent to the induction smelter but i also need rubber from the other side uh, which was our redstone furnace so do i just furnace there Trying to think of how I want to set this up because I could do something like this where this will have sap put here, rubber will go here, the crushed sandy stuff will go here into the induction smelter and then the induction smelter feed right into magma crucible. But from where because I don't want to like stick it out here because then that's just gonna look messy and power is gonna be ran from the bottom
And you're also going to have another byproduct as well, now that I think about it. Um, how do I want to set this up? <laughs> I'm kind of thinking about doing something like for you. You know what, I'm going to think about this between episodes a little bit, because um, that is the wrapping up point. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you have not already. Next episode, we're going to go ahead and set up all three of these automations. We may not have enough power to uh, fully run them as of right now, just because it's just going to be hooked up to our solar panel, just passively doing its thing. Uh, but eventually, you know, all the tanks are going to be full, machines will kind of stop, and we won't have to worry about it. But with that, hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.